How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here from the YouTube channel Abdallah Smash 26 giving you guys the very first Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer recently released by the Pokemon International Company. Now, I'm super pumped up because this there's a lot of information. So, I'm going to stop talking right now. I'm going to need you guys to watch this trailer and then stick around afterwards because we're going to be talking about all the different details that we can find within the trailer, uncut, unscripted. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm going to go away for a quick second, but don't worry, I'll be back, and then uh, we're going to go through this. So stand by, watch this, it's going to be cool. Here we go. Okay, so that was pretty epic. Not gonna lie, that was so awesome. This was everything that I wanted in a reveal trailer. So, let's go back and take a couple moments and talk about everything. Now, of course, uh, what I expect you guys to do is leave some comments in the comment section below about what you thought of the trailer, if we missed anything during our analysis, or what you're most excited for. So let's just jump back into it from the very beginning and go from there. So, right off the bat, only on Nintendo 3DS and 2DS. So that's great. That's going to make it more accessible to a lot of people. Because a lot of people wanted the new Pokemon game to be on the new Nintendo 3DS exclusive. Just like Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, and I kind of wanted that too. But I understand why they didn't. Maybe the next generation will be an exclusive once Nintendo starts releasing more exclusive games for the new Nintendo 3DS. To take advantage of the very awesome processing power that it has. So moving off... Um, that's so amazing. This global launch is going to be great. So right off the bat, we get a little bit of uh, sun and moon right off the bat here. Uh, we've seen the logos before. The logos look very great. Now, let's take a look over here. Now, throughout the entire uh, trailer, we don't really get to see a change of clothes in our main character. And that's okay, but there's that's not saying that customization is going to be out. I know a lot of people love Pokemon Y and X, or X and Y, because of the trainer customization. So just moving forward, frame by frame, you can pretty much see the kid's room. Uh, you got some books over here, an office chair, a gigantic book that he's probably reading, a globe. You've got your little stuffed Pikachu like, that looks really cool. And of course, right before the screen fades away, if you guys look right over here... Uh, you see a Nintendo Wii U gamepad, and that looks really awesome. In every generation of Pokemon, there is always a Nintendo console in the main character's home, and I think that that's pretty sweet. So he's got this pretty awesome, uh, looks like a 45, maybe a 55-inch TV, compared to his Pikachu over there. So it looks great. Got a nice striped shirt, got a new logo on his hat. That looks pretty awesome. All right, so now we've got the... Um, I guess, we don't know if this is going to be the professor, or what, but his name is Kukui, uh, or, I, I, you know what, 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Kukui? We're going to call him Mr. K. How about that? So Mr. K is over here. He looks like he may be the professor. Because look at these long pockets in the lab coat. Obviously, the sleeves are rolled up because it's, you know, it's very hot around here. And, of course, we know his name. We know that um, we are in a new region. This one says the Alola region. And it's probably based off of the word Aloha. Uh, so maybe like a Hawaii kind of, um, you know, influence, kind of like Pokemon X and Y was influenced. And anyway, so he says, welcome to paradise, comma, cousin. Now, could this mean that he's biologically our cousin? Or is this just something that the locals say? They just say, hey, cuz, what's going on? We don't know. If it is our actual cousin, then maybe we're on some sort of trip to visit him. I think that could be it. So maybe we just go on a trip to the Alola region to meet up with our cousin to start us on this adventure. I think that's what it is, but I could be wrong. All right, so moving on. So now that we get this, we get a little bit more of the uh, the expanse of everything. Looking right over here, um, you can see how high up we are. You can see the water. You can see a gigantic mountain on top. And you got another mini mountain right over here. That looks pretty good. All right, so he's running across. We're just going to go frame by frame. Now, this is pretty interesting because we got this guy um, who is taking a page from Brock from Generation 1 Pokemon. Doesn't really open up his eyes, but that's okay. I love that. Uh, but anyway, we've got uh, Mr. K right over here. You can see his face now. He's got a little goatee. He's got a pretty cool little logo hat and some pretty cool green shades. Now, could this guy be our uncle? Could he be our uncle that invited us over here, and uh, since now his son is right over here, so maybe this is our family. And then he's just got uh, he's just got the three Pokeballs and pops them all out. So that's pretty excellent. So now that we've got um, exactly what we're looking for, we now have the three starters. That is so cool. So looking at it, actually, back up a couple frames. Um, looking at the three starters is pretty important because they're coming out just right now, but even more important so is this sign over here that pretty much leads to this mysterious area. As you guys can see, it's got some uh, little tiki statues, and it's it pretty much is the entire like mountain. You could go into it, maybe a forest that leads to the top of the mountain. I don't know, but that's pretty cool that that's over there. Another NPC. But of course, we're going to talk about the starters now. Starters look pretty cool. This is Rowlet. Um, he is a grass flying owl, and that looks pretty sweet. I mean, he looks very cute. Look at this! Look at his cute little bow. That is so cute, and his little beak, his little mask. All right, so Rowlet looking like an owl. That's perfectly fine. Now, right over here, we get a sneak peek of the female avatar. You can see she's got a pretty funky little red hat, got a little backpack, nice little shirt, shorts, and everything and the like. So who knows if trainers are going to be customizable other than boy and girl. So that's pretty cool that uh, Rowlet is going to be a grass flying type, so have a dual typing right off the bat. Let's hope there's no ice types early game. Alright, so Rowlet right over here using uh, what it looks like appears to be like razor leaf. So if we were to zoom back, we can see some leaves popping off. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. And of course we have the same sound effect for super effective moves, and I really like that. They kept that for the longest time. All right, so our next character, or our next starter, is Litten. Now, I like Litten, because you can see Litten is a kitten. A lit kitten. That is so cool. I'm a huge cat fan. We have four cats at home. So you guys already know what starter I'm going to choose. Just saying. So Litten looks pretty cool. You can see really, really cool fire whiskers. Got some little tabby striping going on here. Some little striping on the forehead. Nice little cool tail. Now what's really cool is that the animations for Litten is so much like a cat. Look at him. He's licking himself. And then right over here, right when he does his fire attack, he grows these little fiery spikes on his back. Which looks pretty cool. So I think that that's awesome. All right, now our third starter is going to be Poplio. Now this little dude, he looks like a little seal, uh, like a performance seal. He's got the little clown collar over here. He's got the clown ball nose, and he looks pretty decent. So a lot of you guys are going to want Poplio because he's the water type right off the bat. So you got fire, water, grass as starters as usual per the handbook. So this is going to be pretty interesting because this is a bird's eye view of the entire island. 
as you guys can see right over here, you've got the uh, the city area. If you take a look right up top over here, this is the platform where we kind of started out with, where uh, Mr. K and I want to say his dad threw out the starters right over here. And then you can see the entrance to the maybe volcano or mountain right up here. So there, here's that house. And then what it looks like is maybe you start up up here and then you make your way down, visiting a couple houses right over here, making your way down. Then this uh, path splits into three. You can go left to get a pretty good view. Um, and then it looks like there's some sort of drawbridge and maybe you can go higher up. Really nothing shows over here. But also there's a, some sort of mysterious cave and maybe this right path um, allows you, or no, I'm sorry, maybe the middle path, I don't know, maybe there's a fourth path right over here. Like you can go down and over and then into this cave. And of course, if you have surf, uh, you can probably go over here to this little island. Now, if you go straight through, you have access to pretty much the beach area. You can probably see this little island off in the distance and you can come around this way to this big manor, which is overseeing the beach. If you go the right path, you're going to go over here and you can see easily the Pokemon Center. So there's no doubt there's probably going to be some Pokemon battles along the way. And then you'll have access to this very cool beach where it looks like you can probably go inside this crater right over here just based off of the coloration right here. So you can go inside this crater. It looks like a, a volcanic eruption, hence the little islands over here. Uh, and then you've got some sort of beach house. You've got a little island. And then if we keep on advancing the frames uh, backwards a little bit, we'll notice that this little island here is crescent shaped, just like a moon. So could this be where the uh, moon legendary is resting later on in the game? I don't know. That's all speculation right now. But anyway, so there is a little area that you can surf to. You can probably navigate these little islands here, navigate this island. But yeah, this looks pretty good. The, um, there's some double towers over here. There's a gigantic tower. And it looks like, I'm not sure, but I don't know if this is a, a peninsula or just an island altogether. Maybe this top of the map is connected to something. Or, heads up, maybe it could just be a straight up island. That would be cool. But you can see that there's water over this way, which leads me to believe that this is probably all surrounded by water. But who knows until we see what's going on over here. All right, so we got a little bit more zoomed in look at it, which looks pretty good. Now we're running through over here. You can actually see these very cool little tiki statues, uh, paying homage to uh, Hawaii. And right, of here, right over here, we see a new character, which we haven't seen before. Maybe this is your aunt. Maybe this is um, the old Brock uh, look-alike in the distant future's wife. And so she's pretty much looking out. We haven't seen a lady in a yellow floral print with cool little sunglasses. We haven't seen her yet. So moving on, we can actually see a better view of the town. It looks like it's some sort of uh, maybe like a port town where uh, maybe ships can pretty much dock up over here. You've got access to the beach over here. And then next frame, you can see some cars and you can go down talk to some NPCs. Here are the uh, twin buildings and then the sky rise. You can see that over there. And this might be a Pokemon Center. I don't know. But yeah, you can pretty much move on through and see what's going on. So now is pretty much where we get a very cool um, cinematic of what exactly is on the top of the island. You can see that this is the gigantic mountain where you can go inside, access to the very top over here. And you can see the two buildings that we saw from the way bird's eye view. So that looks pretty awesome. Here's a stage that we run across. We've seen that before. It's probably where Pokemon battles happen in the town. Uh, right over here, you can see the nighttime dynamic. So there's going to be some daytime and nighttime scenes. Is it going to be real time? Is it going to be based off an of in-game super sped up timer? Is it going to be where, um, I don't know, maybe you go to sleep and then it'll be nighttime and you go to sleep again, then it'll be daytime. So you can maybe change the cycles that way. All right, so right over here, we have a friend or some sort of acquaintance. He looks pretty happy to be here. Uh, maybe he's your rival in town. Maybe he's um, some sort of local that's going to give you a tour of the place. Who knows? But here we go, another pan at the very cool starters. Looking good, all three of them just coming on out. They're opening animations, and right now is pretty interesting because we get a look at the legendary for Pokemon Sun. This is the Sun line. You can take a look at his awesome little design. He's got the sun right around his face. His mane looks like even more like sun rays, and of course, he's a lion. 
And that looks pretty awesome. Even so, even more so, is the fact that he's right against some sort of building or tower that has the Pokemon Moon logo and the Pokemon Sun logo right over here on top of statues. So maybe they're the guardians of this sort of tower. And you can see like his astral uh, like forehead over here with some sort of marking. And then right over here, uh, this confirms that uh, we are right next to some sort of tower because this is the sky and then this is only going to go further up. But the symbols are reversed over here, so that's really interesting to me. Maybe the back side of the symbols are reversed, and maybe the front side is something else, or maybe it's different uh, whatever version you're playing. So this is the, the Moon Legendary, which looks pretty cool. The Moon Legendary looks like some sort of bat with very cool moon elements to it. Um, yeah, and then the moon, you can see like the moon, uh, crescent moon right over there, the shape of the head. That looks pretty awesome. And then right over here, you get a slow-mo of its, I guess maybe it's super move, some sort of like moon beam. One, two, three, four, five, six points of the moon all drawing in energy to pretty much blast it. Boom, moon beam, it's super effective. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so available November 18th, 2016. Totally predicted it. And now we've got the, the box art. Of course, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. How cool is that? Wow. So let me know in the comment section below what you're most excited for about this. Are you going to be on board with uh, Team Litten, like me, hashtag Team Litten? Or are you going to be on hashtag Team Rowlet or hashtag Poplio, Team Poplio? That's going to be interesting. I am going to totally rep represent the little fire kitty. I think he's going to be very cute. But yeah, let me know if, uh, if I missed anything or if you guys noticed something that I didn't. But I'm really excited. And uh, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, you guys can know that I will be playing this on day one. This is going to be great. I'll be playing through the sun version, which is going to be great. Of course, i got to get the cat, right? <laughs> so I'll be playing through the sun version. Uh, I've got the live stream already up, so you can go visit it. The link is going to be in the description for that one. It's going to be super fun. So stay tuned for more Pokemon Sun and Moon. Let me know what you thought of the trailer, and be sure to share the video. And of course, if you're excited as I am for Pokemon Sun and Moon, smash that like button, guys. Let's do it. Share the video so more people can get access to this. And then let's talk about it in the comment section. Let's talk about what you think is going to happen. You know, what do you think um, this tower is that these legendaries are guarding? Who knows? I want to hear all of your theories in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified on everything Pokemon Sun and Moon in the near future. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.